This is Kiwi from the Live Community bringing you the Global Protect 5.2 Enforce Global Protect Connections with FQDN Exclusions video. Nehal Naik explains in detail on exactly how to go about it. Without further ado, I'll hand you off to Nehal. With Global Protect 5.2, we have introduced Enforce Global Protect Connection with FQDN Base Exception feature. Enforce Global Protect feature ensures that network access can be blocked if Global Protect connection is not established. Exception can be configured based on FQDN. Only network traffic belonging to the configured FQDNs as exception will be allowed when Global Protect tunnel is not connected. This feature is configurable on the Global Protect portal. This feature is also specifically useful when customer want to utilize SAML IDP as an authentication mechanism before logging. With this feature, they can specify SAML IDP FQDN as an exception and they can successfully authenticate to SAML IDP before Global Protect connection is established. Let's go ahead and look at how this feature is configured on the Global Protect portal. So as I mentioned, the feature can be enabled on Global Protect portal under Agent App Configuration. So as we can see, Enforce Global Protect connection for network access is enabled. At the same time, we have also specified star.paloltonetworks.com as a FQDN exception domain. Now let's go ahead and test this feature from client. So as we can see, currently our Global Protect VPN tunnel is established. So let's go ahead and try to access paloltonetworks.com. As we can see, we are successfully able to open the website. Let's try any other domain. So we could see that we could open any other domain as well. Now let's go ahead and disconnect our VPN tunnel and try to access paloltonetworks.com again. So as we can see, we could open the paloltonetworks.com again. Now let's go ahead and try to open another domain. So as we can see here, we were not able to open amazon.com, which is not specified as a FQDN exception. And at the same time, we also got a Global Protect Enforce notification that to access this domain, we need to first connect to the Global Protect channel. This concludes Enforce Global Protect Connection with FQDN based exception feature demo. Thank you very much Nihal for that excellent explanation about Global Protect 5.2 enforcing Global Protect connections with FQDN exclusions. I hope everyone learned from your expertise. That said, we encourage everyone to visit the live community to participate in the discussions and read all the great blogs we post there. Thanks again for watching and don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe so you'll get notified of all the new videos that we're posting here. Have a great day.